Hello to what I must consider is obviously an intelligent and very good looking YouTube viewer. Today I'm going to give you some thoughts about my uh, Springdale travel trailer and some of the things I learned during the buying process which will hopefully help you help you when you choose a uh, travel trailer or RV of your own. Uh, one of the things, uh, the reason I got a 26 footer is because uh, the state parks here, the longest unit you can put into it is a 28 and uh, the, most of the 28 footers I looked at were actually a little bit longer than that and the people I talked to they said you really wanted to keep it under 28 to fit into the spot so I picked a 26. Uh, storage was one of the things I really liked to look at. One of the things I really like about this trailer is it has this door on the back and I'm kind of getting too close here uh, which allows you access to some storage inside the trailer uh, without having to go all the way inside so like when I put my barbecue outside I keep a lot of the utensils and cooking things right inside the store and it's easy to get to this thing lifts up so it's easier to uh, get things in and out of there it's also the escape door if you're uh, in the back bunk area now one of the things I wish I had spent a little more time looking at when I got my trailer was uh, some of the other storage and conveniences that you may or may not think about. Uh, one thing in particular that I found particularly irksome is the bed in this unit. It's what's considered an RV queen, which is not the same as an actual queen bed. RV queen, this mattress is exactly six feet long. And I'm 5'10", and you think that would be long enough, but the problem is it, you probably can't tell in this because this is two-dimensional but this front of the trailer is sloped and it angles in and what that does is kind of forces you to put the pillows back so right away you're about a foot shorter uh, my feet actually hang off the end of this and it's really irritating now uh, one of the other things let me see if I can get my tripod to stand up um, where you kind of don't notice it right away until you get there later is it looks like you got good storage in here I have you know one wardrobe and a couple of closets and another wardrobe um, but when you uh, actually open them up you'll find that they're actually too short to hang a shirt in so you end up bunching your shirts to fit in a closet and it's not really an optimal condition. And then the other thing you might want to do is uh, besides lay down and see if your feet hang off the end of the bed is uh, just walk around it. It's pretty tight in here and when you're excited about buying it it's not really as irritating as it is later on when you're actually living with it. I don't know if you can tell, but my blinds over there, they're kind of bungered up and they're uh, bent on this side too. And that's basically from my butt scraping against them when I try to uh, go back and forth around the bed to make the bed or get into the closets or anything like that. And anything you put in that fire closet, it's going to be something you don't want to get to very often because it is a real pain to get back there. Um, it does come with a nice shelf to put a TV on. I actually mounted a flat screen to the uh, wall. I take that down when I drive. And then, but the shelf is a good place to put a fan. Helps with the cooling. I actually do have a vent right there that air conditioning blows through if it gets hot enough for that to happen. Uh, this unit also comes with a couch. And then this couch folds down into a bed. Uh, although because storage is such a premium in one of these things I put a uh, this, my trash can and a little uh, container go right there so it makes it really difficult you can't actually uh, pop that out the cupboards up above are pretty nice I can really store a lot of stuff in there I get to zoom back as far as I can um, and I, there's pretty good storage up above the the sink and the galley I really like the big sink it's big enough. Let me see if I can set this down again. 
it's actually big enough that you could put a, a whole pan across here and it's nice and deep so when you're washing stuff you don't feel like you're in a little tiny uh, RV sink. Uh, it comes with the standard three burner. That clay pot is an experiment that didn't work out so good. Uh, that comes in the oven. What I'm thinking about doing is removing this couch and then installing uh, cabinetry all the way across and in, into the corner just for more storage and, and workspace. I think I've sat on that thing like three times just to put my shoes on. So I, I don't ever use it to sit on and it's really just taking up space and I'm never going to sleep on it. I thought it was if we had people over, you know, and you could have more sleeping space, but I don't know. I think I'd rather have the, the countertop. And then it comes with your pretty standard uh, kitchen table and, and bench seats that you see in most RVs. These things are the most uncomfortable things to sit on in your whole life. I have that blue mat on there to help a little bit, and it just cushions just a slight bit more. And then the other really irritating thing, whoops, besides my camera slipping, is uh, this cushion likes to slide down and then your back rests against that board right there. And that is mighty uncomfortable. So basically, uh, if you have someone you don't like, invite them to come over and sit in your uh, RV seating. i got to figure out something. I might even take these out and put something in that's more comfortable. I don't know, I have to think. Anyhow, lots of projects. One of the things that I find mystifying is uh, almost every trailer, RV, motorhome you come across has this style of radio CD player in it. And it's actually a pretty crappy unit. The sound coming out of it is bad. I even replaced it with uh, uh, much higher end marine speakers. I don't really need marine speakers in here, but they were nice and thin. Um, and it still sounds pretty crappy. And believe it or not, oh, let me see if I can I need to set my camera down again. Believe it or not, this space behind here, I took this out and looked, this space behind here is completely empty. So you're basically using all of this space for this radio that you could mount, you know, get like a home style stereo. I mean, it's nice because it works on 12 volts, so if you're out somewhere, but you could you could do much better. And I'm thinking just about putting a shelf in, I'm mounting a stereo, a thin stereo right there, and, and then turning this into a cabinet, because, I mean, you're losing 30% of this cabinet space right here for that. It's crazy. Now, one, one of the things that I like about this trailer is it has um, a back bed. So that's actually a full-sized bed right there. It looks a little bit smaller because I have the foam. Oh, I've, let me backtrack a little bit about the bed. These bed mattresses that you get in an RV are thin. And there is nothing to these things. It's quite possibly the second least comfortable place to be in this trailer other than that seat uh, by the dinette. So what you're going to immediately do is you might as well just stop at Walmart on your way home and pick up the four inch foam uh, bed topper because you're going to be going back there anyways and getting it. And then with that on it, it actually is really comfortable. It's just as nice as your home bed. And they're like 150 bucks, so just uh, commit to it early. But this is actually long enough for me to lay down in and stretch my legs out. And then you have uh, a cupboard in the back, once again. Uh, just about useless for hanging clothes in and really not very uh, easy to get to because you got to go over the bed and then there's a bunk bed on top and what I did is I just bought uh, containers and you and created more storage and I need to make this look a little bit nicer uh, you got to really strap those suckers down when you're going down the road or you will bounce everything out of them they're not heavy duty or designed to be bounced around in a trailer uh, one thing I do like uh, about this unit is the sink for the uh, bath facilities is outside of 
the shower and toilet so if someone is in there you could still use the sink although I guess you could use the kitchen sink but there's nice storage underneath there and sorry if this looks real cramped and then you have uh, you know medicine cabinet right there and you got good lighting and there's another light back there um, so it's it's a pretty good spot to to get yourself ready in the morning uh, one of the things I did like about this is it has uh, a tub and and we have young ones that might travel with us and then you know you could put them in there and use it like a regular bathtub with a little kid and then the other thing is the toilet has really good leg room uh, when you're sitting down on it uh, so it feels a lot like a home toilet uh, but here's an interesting thing let me get the camera let me see probably have to back up a little bit here Yeah, in the real pro style shooting. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it like this. Anyhow, um, it looks like a full, more like a full size shower. And when you're looking at it and you're shopping and you stand and you're like, oh, this is just like my shower at home. It, the thing's gonna be above my head. But keep in mind, you're, this is the outside. When you actually get inside of it. Now you're up in the air about another eight inches and uh, your head is way above the shower head. So what actually happens, let me uh, adjust my camera. And once again, sorry for all the motion. Now if I can actually get in there. This is kind of a rinky dink. It's hard to get in and out of here with this door. But when you actually take a shower, my head actually is up into the skylight right here. And like I said, I'm only 5'10". If you were six feet tall, I don't know if you could use this. So um, if you're taller, actually stand inside the shower and see if that's going to work for you. Maybe some of them are better. I don't know. I didn't think that much about it when I was getting it. But all said and done, I'm pretty happy with this unit. Um, I, there's some things that I would actually think about now that if I were to get another one, I might select something different, maybe the layout a little bit different. Uh, the way the bed is set up, I don't know, I'd have to think about it and, and look at it some more. But anyhow, hopefully those are some things that maybe you weren't thinking about before. That can help you when you're uh, choosing your uh, vacation trailer of the future. Thanks for watching.